Welcome to Southern Campers. Before we hit the road, we must first learn the basics. This tutorial will teach you how to operate your home on wheels. First, we will cover the interior of the van, how to operate the onboard toilet and shower, use of appliances, and how to set up the beds. Let's get into it. Pull the handle and slide the door along the rail to open. When closing, ensure the door is flat with the van. If there is a gap, simply push it closed or re-slide the door. The onboard toilet door has a latch. Ensure it is locked whilst travelling. The toilet seat swivels around. Before using, open the toilet hatch. Press and hold the blue button to flush. Close the hatch when all waste and water has gone down. The toilet switch must be on in the command cupboard to use. The command cupboard is where we control all appliances in the van. To operate any water-based appliance, the water heater switch and the water pump must be on, regardless of using cold water. Heat the water by switching on the boiler. Switch it to 60 or 70 degrees. If a red light appears, turn off and on again to reset. The gas bottle must be on to use this. Above the TV, we find the diesel heater. Press the power button to turn on. If your heating system is different to as shown, this will be explained during the handover process. Press and hold it to turn off. To use this heater, you have to have over half a tank of fuel. To use the television, turn on the TV switch in the command cupboard. The TV can be used to watch DVDs and use USB sticks. To use the fridge, turn on in the command cupboard and simply lift the flap to open. To operate the stove, turn on the range hood switch Lift the cover. Turn the desired burner to the flame symbol while holding the igniter button. Turn to the white dot to switch off. We suggest opening windows and turning on the range hood fan to reduce gas smells. Open the windows by squeezing the butterfly latch and sliding along. The gas must be on to use the stove. Ensure it is off when not in use. When using the sink, lift the cover and rotate the tap. The water pump and the water heater switch must be on to use. The lights can be turned on individually when the light switch is on in the command cupboard. The microwave and three pin plugs require you to be plugged into power. The air conditioning can be used by simply twisting to the desired setting and adjusting the temperature. Now we adjust the table and put up the bed. The table has three handles, one for the height, one for swiveling and one to remove the top. To loosen or tighten the handles, pull out, 
turn to the desired start location, push in and turn to tighten or to loosen. Tighten the swivel before travelling to stop the table from moving in transit. To make the bed, loosen the height handle and remove the whole table with the leg. Loosen the table grip and remove the leg. Stow beneath. The table works as a bed panel. Slot it between the seats as shown. The second half of the bed base is found behind the driver's seat. Put the driver's seat forward and undo the clip. Always ensure it's stored correctly when replacing. This section slots the same. Now reposition the squabs, stowing the spare beneath. Make the bed with linen provided. When using the curtains, always make sure they are clear from the doors when putting away. To open the rear doors, first open the right hand side, then the left. The left door catch is found just inside as shown. When closing, always close the left hand side first. The outdoor chairs and table are found at the rear beneath the bench seats. Now to cover the exterior and how to fill up and dump waste. The fuel cap is found on the passenger side. Fuel with diesel only. The fresh water is at the rear of the passenger side. To fill, unlock the cap. Push firmly and rotate 90 degrees to remove. Fill with fresh water only. Replace the cap. Ensure it is fitted correctly. The cap will turn freely when it is locked. On the driver's side, we find the gas bottle, power plug, toilet cassette, and grey water outlet. In the LPG storage we find the gas bottle. Gas bottles can be refilled at most gas stations if required. Turn the handle left to open and right to close. Always turn off when travelling or not in use. And lock the cabinet. To plug into power, locate the power inlet above the LPG storage. Retrieve the power cable from the utility cabinet found inside the rear. Identify the correct end and push firmly into the inlet. Take the other end and plug into the campground power. Some campgrounds have an on off switch. If ever unsure, ask the caretaker or staff.
Now we look at the toilet cassette and grey waste. In this we will cover how to use a dump site. Dump stations come in many forms. Many will have a lid like this to remove. You will usually find a pipe and a grate. The grate is for wastewater and the pipe is for toilet waste, also known as black water. The wastewater outlet is found tucked underneath the van. The wastewater pipe can be turned for easier access. Remove the end cap and connect the wastewater pipe provided in the utility cabinet and securely fasten. Position the end of the pipe over the wastewater drain. Open the valve. Close the valve once finished and rinse out the pipe with water and allow it to dry before replacing it back in the utility cupboard. Replace the cap and push the pipe back up. Remove the toilet cassette by pulling the yellow tag up and pulling out. Remove the plastic cap by sliding it out. Turn the yellow dial to open or close the cassette. Press and hold the yellow button while emptying to reduce splashing. Position yourself at the black water pipe. Twist the neck forward and remove the end cap. Press and hold the yellow button. Aim and pour. Open the cassette and rinse out with water. Close the hatch. Replace the end cap. Swill it and empty again. Do this two to three times or until clean. Always rinse the dump station after use and close the lid. Now it's time for the fun part, getting behind the wheel. The van will only start if it is in the neutral gear, indicated by the letter N on the dashboard. Once it is displayed, you're good to go. To change gear, pull the gear stick in the desired direction. The gear stick will stay in the center. A is for automatic, your drive gear. N is for neutral. And of course, R is for reverse. Take the handbrake off by lifting slightly, pressing the button in, then pushing towards the floor. Put it on again by pressing the button and raising it to maximum height. Always park on the flat and ensure the handbrake is on. The motorhome has no park gear, so always make sure the handbrake is on. Be aware of your height when driving and parking. Watch for signs, trees and storefronts that may be low hanging. Use your mirrors and have someone assist you reversing. Always wear your seatbelt. Adjust radios and other appliances before you set off. In New Zealand, we drive on the left hand side of the road. So always keep left.
pull over when it is safe to allow traffic to pass. Check out the Driving NZ book in the front cab if unsure about New Zealand road rule. Always plan your route and allow extra time to get to your destination. We like to add an hour to each drive, just in case of trouble. Set your GPS before you go. If you need a break, pull into a rest stop. Or if you're tired, pull into a campground or freedom camp to stay the night. Be aware, different regions have different freedom camping rules. You have made it through the tutorial. Final things to remember before you move. Ensure that the sliding door is closed properly. Close vents and windows. Turn off the gas bottles. Lock all cabinets. Make sure the water cap is fitted and locked. Always fuel the diesel. And make sure the toilet is properly closed. Have a great trip.